what to say when you're a leader in transition and you don't know what to say. You're a new leader, you're coming into a new team, you don't know the cast of characters, you don't know the details, and you don't know the history. So, I don't know might be a response that's gonna come out of your mouth more often than not, and that is totally okay. Bob Iger was CEO of Disney for about 15 years, but where he started was in ABC Sports, and then he had a very um, long sort of ascension through the company and up the ranks. But at one juncture in time, he was named the head of ABC Entertainment not his wheelhouse. He had to move to LA, so he was definitely definitely an outsider. And so he realized that even though he was in this leadership position, humility was gonna be his friend. So he asked a lot of questions. He said, I don't know. He enlisted allies within the company that did know so that he could get some sound advice, gathered as much information as he could, and at the end of the day, he made some tough calls, as leaders often do. At the time, he was deciding on the next lineup of shows for, for ABC, and it was at a time when ABC needed a hit. But the point is that he said, I don't know, as many times as he needed to, but then he, then he gathered the information, asked the right questions, and then made the tough decisions as a leader. The second thing that you can do when you don't know is ask a lot of questions. This is something that I often do as a journalist. I'm naturally curious about people, but if you don't understand a topic or you don't understand necessarily all the players on a team ask a lot of questions and one of my favorite questions to ask is how can I help now most people expect a new leader to come in and want to exert their power but I find that a question like this can instantly disarm somebody and then you're actually asking them you're asking your team members on how they can best be supported and make decisions based on that the third thing, and I often use this when I'm interviewing people on camera, is what questions should I ask that I haven't asked? And sometimes the interview ends right there. The person will say, you know what, I think you've asked everything. But sometimes, just sometimes, you get a flood of information that you wouldn't have, wouldn't have gotten otherwise if you hadn't asked such an open-ended question. So what haven't I asked that I should have asked? What should I have asked about that project that I didn't ask? I often conclude an interview with this because I never know if there's a nugget in there that I needed and I left it on the table because I didn't ask that question. Hey, I have a gift for you today. If you go to joyadas.com, J-O-Y-A-D-A-S-S.com, you can get one of my handy dandy tip sheets on how to establish boundaries in the workplace and just have a few scripts right tucked away in your back pocket that you can use in real time when you need them. Also, I am starting up my next public speaking masterclass on September 8th. This is for seven women who are in transition or promoted into a new leadership position, and you need to be able to talk about your leadership wins. So I'm gonna teach you how to do that, and all you gotta do is email me at info at joyadas.com, or just go to joyadas.com, click on the masterclass page, and all the details are there. I can't wait to see you. Hey, if you like the content, hit the like button down below, comment, DM me, let me know if you've used any of these tips that I've provided and if they worked for you. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I drop a video every week, usually on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and you will get a bell notification whenever I do. We'll see you soon.